What's superior for cutting through steel? Fire or water? Today we're gonna to talk to our attachment specialists and figure out the difference between the burn table and the water jet. Let's go. So you said the water jet was more precise. This one isn't as precise then? What do you? It is precise. Okay. The water jet, like you can, you can go down to like millimeters. This one here, you can do precise cuts, but it's not as precise. As so do you have to like sand it down type thing? Yeah, you're okay. gonna have a lot of slags. You're gonna have a lot of cleanup. Okay. Uh, you're grinding your stop and starts with a water jet. When you stop and start, it's not as big. Okay. Where when you're piercing with fuel, it's a lot bigger. Yeah, okay. So yeah, a lot of cleanup. That sure. makes sense. I was told this is oxygen and propane, propylene? Oxygen and propylene, propylene. Yes. So what about like the fumes on this thing? Do you have to have a, is it not that it bad? Not, it's not. Okay. If anything, you'll get, uh, you'll get mist, not, not mist, but steam. Okay, right? You're steam. having fire versus water, you get steam, so you're right. a kettle almost. And is there anything that can't be cut on the water jet that has to get cut on this? Or no, it's kind not of the same? Not as far as I'm aware. Okay. Okay, cool. If anything, uh, the water jet, you can do bevel cuts. I saw in one of the videos, Aaron, uh, he was welding, he was doing a bevel cut. Yes, yeah, so. On, like, something that was a motorized cut. So that's similar like this. Uh, we call that the burn buggy. <laughs> um, it's actually adjustable for your different um, angles that, that you can do on that. So that's what we would use for that. What do you prefer, this or the water jet? I like them both. Uh huh. I think. I like the water jet more. You're not dealing with slag, it's less clean up. Yeah. Uh, sure, you'll have the dirt or the rust from from the water, mm -hmm. from the water jet, but no, I just think it's a, it's a cleaner cut, it's a less clean up. It's easier to deal with while fitting an attachment. When it, the sparks like hit that really high and it was toward you guys, is that like kind of normal? Does that happen sometimes or? Is yes, that and that's like, what I was saying earlier. When you were cutting the one inch, you didn't really see it no. because it did not do a piercing. Yeah. And that's what it's called. When you do the first um, pierce, it's trying to make a hole on a plate. So when you actually did the one inch plate, it was cutting in on the edge, right? Yeah. It did make a hole. When you see it splashing, it's trying to make the first pierce. It's trying to get through all the way down before <laughs> it will go to a smooth, nice cut. So, the question I asked Steve, um, which one do you prefer, cutting on the water jet or the burn table? I guess I, it depends on what we're cutting. If we're cutting some, uh, let's say the reapers. Reapers have like big uh, chunks, right? Like mm -hmm. it's using thicker plates. I would rather use it on a, use the burn table to cut it because it will take um, less, lesser time. So let's say for a reaper, I'll probably be able to finish the full flight kit in one day. The water jet most definitely, but it's slower really? than yeah. this. This is what a lot this faster. This is so much faster, okay. I heard. Like, oh, it's yeah. like half the time yep. that the water jet takes. Get a lot done. Wow. Yeah. So how often are you cutting things in the water jet? Like Pretty daily? much as people are purchasing them, we're cutting it for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we also do stock, so we have it ready to go when someone purchases something. Um, so far it's been pretty much every day the past two weeks we've been cutting, so. I've been asking everyone this since you've learned both at this point. What do you prefer, the burn table or the water jet? That's a good question. Uh, probably the water jet. Why? It takes less hands-on work. Okay, yeah. You gotta be a little more focused sense. on yes, the burn yeah, table. Absolutely. If something goes wrong, you gotta stop it, bring yes, it back. Yeah. Get the slag off of the metal. <laughs> um, this yeah. one you just gotta make sure it's still cutting. Yes, Nothing it gets clogged. Get clogged. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you had the chance to operate one of these machines, which one would you choose and why? Water or fire? Leave a comment down below. They're just finishing the demo of the building and we're gonna leave the concrete for you two. The two of you are going to take our machine, our 20 ton machine, you're going to put a breaker on it, mm -hmm. then you're going to pulverize the concrete, which is uh, uh, crush it in these jaws that we make, oh my God. and then you're going to use one of our buckets to load a dump truck with it. And you got all summer to learn how to do this. Ooh, but I think that you could do it pretty quickly. So is someone going to teach us how to like do this, or are we just guessing? <laughs> you're just going to figure it out. <laughs> We're okay. just going to figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs>